please welcome Navi. What the freaky mess is going on right now? Okay, I need a Q-tip for my eyeballs. And um, you smell delightful. <laughs> Thank you. You, you look wonderful. You knew Michael. Did he wear cologne? Yes, he did. He did. He did. I am freaking out. All right, let me just give you some Michael Jackson shoe cam. Here, put your feet on those feet, and then you look in that uh, monitor so you can fashion them around <laughs> for the people. <laughs> Can. Yeah, okay, so you're tw uh, 24 years impersonating Michael Jackson. You are now the number one impersonator of Michael Jackson. Has it made you millions of dollars, untold I, wealth, yachts, mansions? I never did it for millions of dollars. I'm a Michael Jackson fan. Yes, but has it made you? No, and I'll tell you why, because I do things for opportunity, for journey, and um, I've had a great journey with it. I've traveled the world with it, mm -hmm, and. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just grateful to do what I do. I love the music. I love what he was about, who he was, the person, and uh, So you're 41-ish or 40, something yeah. like that years old. So he's been doing this since he was like 20 years old. I was 15. A very, uh, 15, yeah. a very, very young boy. Yeah. I am looking at you fully beat with full lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> but somehow it's normal. Well. Because you're Michael uh, or something. Well, you're the spitting image. What have you had done? I um, I had my nose done. I broke my nose when I was uh, 15 years old. I was working in a market and I broke my nose. And then I had it. Oh, that's what you look like now? Like when you take all this off, this is that's you? That's me, that's me, yeah. Wow. That's me. Okay. Because I would not recognize that person that I'm looking at in the picture and you right here. Yeah. So you're able to have a private life. Yeah, I have a private life. All right, uh, how did this all start? Um, being a Michael Jackson fan, uh, I came from the Caribbean to London and then I, Michael Jackson dominated you know, the, the 80s. Mm -hmm. And I loved his music, I loved how he stood for I, I like. He's got an English him. accent by nature, but as Michael, he's, he's speaking... Uh, a little bit. Different, yeah, yeah. but I've, I've lived in London for a long time, so I have a very S British accent. Several of my staffers saw the movie. They said you did a stellar job. I appreciate it. Yes, and I can't wait. I appreciate it. I mean, I have a copy of it, but I like, I wanna watch it with all the commercials in between and all that, like, I wanna watch it when it comes on Lifetime, you know, and luxuriate with a snack. I just, <laughs> well, I mean, it's a, it's a great movie, and I'm not, I'm not just saying that because I'm in it, but I was offered many other opportunities over right. the years. So you broke your nose, you're 15 years old, what makes you want to impersonate Michael Jackson? And what are your parents, what does your family say? That's great, I mean, I've been over 62 different countries, six continents, and I get to travel the world a lot. This year alone, I was in the Caribbean, China, Malaysia. But when you're 15, what do you say to your people? How do they... They just released you? Released no, my parents, my parents are very disciplined and uh, they said you can do this, but you carry on studying. And okay. if you can prove that you can make a living from gotcha. it, then they'll let me carry on with it. So, so you broke your nose when you were a teenager. Yeah. Uh, clearly you have some sort of chin implant. Oh, no. um, you have jaw refinement. No, no, no. You've got a bit of a cheek. No, I've, I've a got... little Botox. No, no, I've never had Botox. Well, well, <laughs> tell me what you had done, dear. I had my nose done. That's it. <laughs> That's it. You were born with that heavy chin. I'm born. You see me as myself. I, uh, I'm okay. Born... I'm, okay. Yeah. No, I'm not challenging. I'm just yeah. asking. Well, lucky you. And you got the Dick Tracy dimple. Yeah. That's a good. So. When Michael was alive, Michael used to hire our friends here as his decoy. So when Michael wanted to go do fun stuff, you would be, so, all right, how would that work? I'd come out of the hotels, Michael would go around the back way, mm -hmm. um, or promotions of albums and tours. Um, sometimes it was great, sometimes it was frightening, because there was like, I don't know, 2,500 people. Yes. And uh, not enough security. And so it can be a bit 
frightening? I would imagine, I would imagine. Michael's very loved. Yes, but in a cuckoo kind of way from some people, <laughs> right? You know, from some people, but you know, it's still, they oh still love God, him. If you gain five pounds, you're out of business. <laughs> like, what do you eat, a piece of quinoa and kale? No, like, I, eat, what is, what I, is eat, I eat, I eat, I eat. I mean, the thing is that it's very, you know, you have to be dedicated. And um, so I have to work out a lot. I have a show with a band and I perform five nights a week, six nights a week. Where? All over the world. And um, we have, at the moment, we have a 30-day tour in, in the UK with Michael's guitarist, Jennifer Batten. So, um... Interesting. Yeah. So, I'm assuming you've spent time at Neverland. I went to Neverland. Uh-huh. And um, it's cool. You know, you walk in there and, well, you've been there, so like it's... Yeah, I, yeah, I went. So I, I told you my story before. I'm not gonna go into it now, okay? It was a robot. It's, it's no, 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 Not it's, Michael. Michael, but the thing is though that, you know, it's like Disney World meets the Wizard of Oz. Exactly. Meets, you know, and it, but it's, it's cool, it's crazy, it's fun, it's, it's an escape, it's good. Well, I must say, this movie I am so looking forward to seeing. Now, tell me what parts of Michael's life do we see? You see the parts that you don't know, which is the last two to three years, and Michael okay. trying to do this, uh, try and get himself out of a situation that his management and stuff had put him in. Financially? Financially. Was he broke? Uh, in a cash business, yes, in a cash way, but okay. not, not in assets. I yeah, mean, he, yeah. had, you know, he has a lot, but, like, right. but they wouldn't release what he was meant to have. How was his relationship with his siblings? He's, he's good. I mean, look, he loves his family. You know, he loves them, and he's good. There was times in the movie, like anybody with their siblings and stuff, you have fallout. What was the family's reaction to the movie? I, I've been told that, that his mother's seen it and cried. Mm -hmm, okay. And mm -hmm. I, you know, I've been told that it's been given to his... I'm freaking out looking at her Paris. here on this couch. I've never seen a, a more of a twin. Go ahead, continue, I'm sorry. And I, you know, look, I, would, I did this movie because it was a voice for Michael when he's been silenced. It was about him and what he was going How through. How close were you with him? Uh, not where I can pick up the phone and speak to him. I have spoken to him on the phone. I've spoken to him backstage. Has he ever criticized your look? Never. Like you, you look like you've gained a, no. a couple of pounds, or, <laughs> or you know, you need to put your part your hair on the no, other side. No, 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 never, never. He he actually said when that picture was taken, you're an amazing dancer. Do you practice every day? And I said, Michael, you're an amazing dancer. And he was like, Really? You think so? And like he was so insecure off stage, but when he gets on stage, yeah. he's a different animal. Electric. He's different. Well, you know, I wish you well. Thank you. And I can't wait for this movie. I am gonna have several snacks while I watch Michael Jackson searching for Neverland. Memorial Day at eight o'clock on Lifetime.